you get like a Yasha underway, his metamorphosis can do just ridiculous amounts of damage. They look to give the slain to the AA of the lion, but for now, they lay into Sedoi. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Sedoi's no points in call. He's got no bonus armor, and he will end up giving up the first blood here. Big Daddy the one to get it, so I think maybe a bit happy that it's, well, not happy. In the moment, he moves in the second they come in, get the early Malphus. There they go, the spins, and oh, I don't think Big Daddy's going anywhere. Unfortunate timing for him, and a good rotation from Polar from top to bottom there to be able to get the catch up, and now they manage to find their own kill, put it on the board, and even things up one to one. Bone 7 does die to neutrals here. Did not spend his gold. Back towards the jungle. I mean, they do have RP and Black Hole. If something is to break out, but... I see him. They got oh. the lasso. Good angle for Bone7 to attack from the pull him in. They may even get all these Eidolons as well. Big Daddy coming out with the stun. They don't even need the Zeus ult. It's held for now. He's busy going on mid. He'll bring down the Bane as well. Oh, they make it a two for nothing exchange. And even Eternal Envy making his moves. He now rotates into mid. They want to go for bottom. Take a tower. They're going to go for Misery. They know that no one else is here to help them out, so they're just going to try to get the easy pick on the support, and they will do so. A good grab for them, but it's pressure on the mid lane now as Metamorphosis is unleashed. Fata. Here comes G. Still has the RP to use. Looking to move on in the middle to catch both of them. Gets it. Nice two-man connection. Skewer, Black Hole to follow up from Polar. But it's Fata who managed to strike another kill. Can they punish him for it? Illidan goes down. He gets the double right there. Will pay with his own life, and it's a double kill traded. Now for G. Not even done yet. Sadoi was diving the bottom lane. He can go back in on Misery now that the cold feed isn't proc. He's got a call available. I think he actually with oh. the call there has the chop ready. Slow down by the ice vortex. Doesn't have the tranquil move, move speed now. Ring around the Rosie, head into the north, dropping ice vortexes in his wake to try and slow him down. And there's your finger. Big Daddy turns it. Then they oh. lose the AA. Trade after <laughs> trade after trade. An absolute bloodbath erupting around the map. Two blink daggers coming out to make it our lives even more difficult controlling the camera. But when it all settles down, it is a little win there across the map for Asus Polar in terms of gold and a big win in terms of experience. Nice little snipe there at the end from G with looking for Big Daddy. They planted a ward so they see it coming. He goes right to the bottom and already there's going to be TP to come in from Fata here, but he might be able to catch both. Or Ooh. maybe nobody. Nobody as he gets hexed up and Fata, he's going to be gripped here, but they immediately take down the Bane. Fata on the run to get away from this one. Meanwhile, G and Big Daddy going toe to toe. He uses the RP on the Lion alone. Tries to blink and TP the hell out of there and will make it away. And G also going for the TP out. They, oh, they get him. Oh. The corpse goes back to the well, but the bolt follows him all the way, apparently. Well, they return game-winning duo if they hit their spells, so... Still very much a, an even game here. They go on top late. There used to be a Sadoi there. Not any longer. There used to be an FNG there, but they want to kidnap him and bring him towards an early demise defensive sleep. Don't think it's good enough. Another bolt, another kill. The chase on the Lil. The blink forward. RP used all on Big Daddy. They'll get the kill as they retreat out, but Bone 7 still pursues. Once Lil, they'll get him as well. Another takedown for Fada. He may feed a big streak. No, just gonna TP away. Everything looking great here for your Zeus. Not so great for Bone 7. He will go down, and it's a nice little double kill. Now we saw from Sumail. He's not maxing his power, though. Illidan, bottom lane, makes his move on the bottom. Man, that's a tanky Zeus, already a Bloodstone picked up. They're gonna kidnap G, keep him away, while Illidan will try to finish him off solo. He gets it done, but he gets fingered under the tower as a trade, and now Big Daddy moses his way in. They've got the Batrider joining the fray. Sedoi, maybe another death for this star-crossed axe. No, RP on two. Now the turn may come. Grip on another. They're gonna bring Bone 7 low. They might get Big Daddy, two heroes done. Ice Blast gets chucked in. Kaboom, see you later. Everybody dropping. We might see four to four plus heroes dead on each team. Now they'll retreat from Lil. They'll bring down the mighty Magnus as well on his scurry back. And when it all ends, I'd say all three cores down for Asus with this axe looking more and more like a four position as the game moves along. He just keeps getting put off from getting that blink dagger. Finally, he's able to grab a hold of it here. Oh, they can get big dag in the pit. It's for now, though. Roche quickly gonna deal with these idle on. Demonic conversion. It looks like almost the polar a little indecisive as far as what they want to do. I think he's still here. Plan a ward or anything. Dyer's Ideally, they like to start with a pick. Oh, close call for Eternal Envy. We're still hanging around up here, and Cloud9 continue to farm across the map. They, they can almost get a kill here on FNG. He's got his ultimate available. Got no, finger. <laughs> Save the Zeus salt. 
chuck out your pick. All right, Enigma down. Maybe it's time to party here if you're Cloud9, but Ilden makes a good jump in onto Big Daddy. Immediate Hex is there. Ice Blast to follow. He gets the kill, taking down your Lion. Now looks to go into Misery. Rolf does fly out. Ilden could be in trouble here, trying to make the run away. Jump in call, catches Misery, gets the dunk. Takes him down. Now Polar may be on the retreat after that. Look to step away with their small advantage as it is right now. A Dyer's two for one trade. Is under Back attack. and forth game, but Asus Polar playing from a gold disadvantage here will be happy to make Cloud9 couldn't Dyer's take this opportunity to play some aggressive wards. You see them already in the hands of Misery here. He wants to get one down here into the Polar jungle side. Dyer's and he does put one right here. So it looks like with that oh, extra Cloud bit nine. of intel, they they'll see if anyone comes. They spot this entire invasion though. Seeing so many heroes in their woods, they're just going to go straight towards the, mm -hmm. the top lane. There was no smoke there. They are scouted out. Now the Zeus ult coming in. They're going to finger Lil off the bat. Impale follow up. Nice takedown by Big Daddy to start the fight. They may end up backing off as they catch out FNG with the lasso. This could be a big kill. He turns with the hole. Where's the cancel? The RP. Massive combo. Then they skewer him in. They don't get the job done, though. Cloud9 surviving, turning the fight. They bring down four. Illidan was hitting a hero on the back oh, line that whole my. time. That Sunder removes everything that Illidan has to live, and he's got to get the hell out of there. FNG moves forward, but after already committing his black hole, he just has not much left in the tank. They are able to easily chop down the axe, and now it's Cloud9 oh, no. still alive and well. Imagine if Illidan was in power, just smacking everyone. That was in black hole RP combo, but still they may end up getting more kills here. Illidan able to bring down the Aegis, forcing Big Daddy back. Can they kill Envy a second time? They've got a Malefus. Cancel any sort of TP out. It's only a level one Malefus. He's going to turn and starts to fight Illidan, and it seems he's winning this fight. Everybody respawning. Cloud9, G2 going to go again to get the two hero oh. kill. Big Daddy. Daddy right back in action. This could be it. A first lane of Rax might be in the there's for the taking. It goes down, and now they go on forward here. Cloud9 continue to get the job done, and in quick fashion at that, jump in. Trying to make it go on to FNG. Lasso in one. No. Decides to force staff to get the hell out of there. G's now back in action here, but the ice blast to fly and will connect on two. Big Daddy turns back, back with full mana. Tries to step on in. They're very low. If they get bursted down low enough, they will snap and they go down. G just got back and he's dead again. This could be even the series maybe. They've got a Sunder on Eternal Envy. If they want to leave him around, is there anyone he can use that Sunder on? He's got some healthy allies mid. He's going to stick around top lane. And more Maybe a four or five game stretch, but to really take it to Polar like this from start to finish, very impressive. And for Polar, they're fighting for their Summit 3 life. After this, they were it's so close versus yeah. Secret. To to lose 3-0 this one-sidedly versus Cloud9 would just be heartbreaking for them. Well, see, though, they're not 100% out of it. One black hole RP combo could change everything. But they need an empowered Illidan over the top. They're going to go in now. The call comes out of the Bone 7. Good way to start the fight, but the turn from an Ice Blast as well as a quick finger. Now the Zeus ulti. The hammer drops. Two ultimates deployed and a hasted Fada. It's going to be four Races here. in. Lil is very low. Fata wants to get him. He's got a haste rune here. Zapped, not going anywhere. They get the kill. Ultra kill for Fata. And it looks like Cloud9 will now go down this mid lane. And how convenient. Eternal Envy with the DD rune pops out the metamorphosis. And look at the dark army begin to just work right on through the he's, polar he's base. They want to end it here and now. They're going right for tier fours. This could be the game. Buyback on your Batrider. What do Asus Polar have? They have Black Hole, no buyback on Enigma. They're hurting the freaking mag back towards the well. He's got to find a way oh, out of here. He no. whips the RP. And any hope of a hold may have just evaporated with one misspell. G literally being boxed in while EE works his magic on the throne. And Cloud9 are going to 3-0 KO slaughter Asus Polar. It looks like they will make a return to defend their second place at the Summit 3. Well, they don't need to worry about no redemption vote this time. They have secured their own spot in their own way here at the Summit Land Final. My God, they looked really, really good. I can't believe it. That was not just the fact that they won, but they just wrecked. They dominated. That was impressive. I, I mean, I wouldn't